Hey guys, this is Danny Boy. This time around I'm going to use Edie and James. This is Sanctuary on Horizon. We are definitely nearing the end of this playthrough. So I have decided that I'm going to use the Claymore for this mission. I think I'll use the Widow next mission, use the Claymore this mission, and then I'll finish up with the Wraith, ideally. So the Claymore, blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to continue to hoard those points, I think. And yeah, I'm just going to move on. Okay. What the hell? So I know how this goes. There's going to be two phantoms. There's going to be a nemesis sniper. I'm going to get sneaky and close on them quickly. See how that goes. They're all going to spawn right here. I saw it. That works. Quick oh, come on. Pretty sure I just heard her die. Definitely a fun way to deal with them. Get out of there. Show yourself. Come on. Watch for the sniper. Come on. Just get out of there. Is there any way to get up there? I don't think there is. Come on! There, finally. She keeps dodging my shots, my incinerates. Why are you not arcing and hitting her and you're hitting the wall also? Why? Ah, uh, I thought she was dead. Blarg! Come on! For the love of God! I have never had so much trouble with this nemesis, ever. Ever! Usually, I don't know what. She comes down. There's no way to deal with her with my current loadout. I can't use weapons to kill her. And every time I use Overload, Edie takes five minutes to actually cast it, and she's already back behind cover by the time... Oh, my God. They were evacuating. Ah, that was infuriating. Okay, I'm skipping these stupid assault troopers. That doesn't look right to me. I don't know about you, but I don't generally think when you shoot in the water it leaves burn marks. Just saying. Also, I don't know if it's just me, but I always miss this. The Rosenkopf material shoulder guard, the recharge shoulder guard, shoulders are here. Right here, in this room after the pool. And I always, always miss these, and you can't buy them later, so just FYI. Okay, time to kill the huskies. Boom. I feel dirty wasting Claymore shots on just husks, though. Oh, I wanted to set up an explosion. Though I don't think that would work anyway. There we go. Boom. So next up is going to be a Banshee. Oh, we still got a little bit more. A little more. There we go. Banshee and... Gotta be more where they came from. You don't have to do it the way I do, but I have made the mistake of going into that room. And what always seems to work best for me is just to hang out here. And wait for her to come. Get out a decoy. Start using overloads. And then it's just a matter of DPSing her down. There will be a Ravager in just a second as well. Which I do need to worry about. I think he might already be here. I think I saw rockets. Both party members are dead, but I do still have a decoy, so I'm not too worried. Though I really didn't expect her stupid whale to be able to hit me from behind cover. And I'm making sure to cloak before every single shot. To ensure I do the most damage possible. He's gonna die in just a second. There we go. So now all that is left is the Ravager. 
Unfortunately, I am out of ammo. But no matter. Let us confuzzle him. Let us make him all confuzzled. First, let us... I can't. Damn. Why can't I not res? Squish. I know you could step on swarmers. That's good to know. Squish. Squish. Really don't want to die from goo or from leftover swarmers, though. I do want to step on swarmers, though. Squish. Maybe that doesn't actually work. I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea to do that. It seems like you still take damage. Never mind. I need ammo. Story of my life. I'm using Armax Arsenal pants still to give me a little more ammo. Has to be ammo in here. Has to be. Yes. Okay, I'm going to close in. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Haven't shotgun infiltrated in a while. Boom! Full shields and everything. Yeah, the whole rule that you have to take down enemy shields before killing them really doesn't seem to be true on a lot of weapons. At least shotguns, I suppose, because they do shoot out multiple pellets, so I guess maybe one pellet hits the target just a bit before the other pellets, perhaps. And... So the first pellets break the shield and the second pellets kind of finish them off. I really... Don't think that might be true though, because they always seem to hit the targets at the exact same time. So I don't know. That's the only really, only real hypothesis I can get. But then again, it's not just shotguns. I have killed, I have one shot at enemies with other weapons when they were at shields. So I don't know. It seems like that rule doesn't always apply or something. Where you have to take out the shield before you can take out their health. Definitely seems to always apply when you're using the single shot sniper rifles, but other weapons not so much. Kind of weird, especially considering the single shots are what you really don't want that rule to apply to. The bolt actions, because then you have to shoot everybody twice, which is really annoying. Claymore is really, really, really good on the infiltrator. Please cloak. Why? Why for did you not cloak? Why? Reasons? Causes? Thoughts? Rage. <laughs> And it auto-saved before I picked up my extra ammo. Damn. Damn. Damn, damn, da damn. Damn, damn, da damn, 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 da damn, damn, damn. No. 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 Okay. First, burn in hell. Step one. Step two. Really wish I had grenades right now. Would be great. Oh, for the love of God. Really hate when your freaking powers hit cover. Pretty much every time that happens, I need to punch a kitten. Pretty much. Also, when the stuff you're aiming at doesn't get hit, and hit somebody else, this is not going well. This is not going well at all. Not even a little teeny bit, in fact. Die. That really sucked. Still not done. Come here. And I can't... Let me sink kill him. Thank you. Thank you. That makes me feel better. Where are you? Screw you! Ah! Ah! Screw you, I said. Damn it. And I am once again out of ammo. Doop 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 Okay, ammo. The Claymore gets three ammo per thermal clip, then the Widow should also get three ammo per thermal clip, in my opinion.
Widow gets way too little ammo per clip. Per clip you pick up. Ammo, 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 ammo. No ammo. Okay, I guess I'm moving on. Okay, this room. First, I'm going to demonstrate something. Then I'm going to reload. Do, 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 do. See that open door? Why is that door open? See this? Why is that open? See this? Why is this open? Hmm? Why is that? Why is it that I can activate this? Why? Someone explain this to me. Why am I able to do all that cheese? They had multiple doorways that they could have closed and prevented me from doing that. Why? Okay, I'm going to reload now. Now I'm going to do this for realsies. Thought the ladder was bugged for a second. So, what I usually do in this room is right away, I want to kill the barrier engines. Number one priority, and it's made exceptionally easy to do as an infiltrator because I can just cloak, ignore everybody, and blow it up. Unfortunately, I have pretty much no ammo at all. But there is ammo that can be picked up in here. If I recall, but I need to not walk in front of rockets. If at all possible. Being hit by something. Come here, cannibal. I see ammo. Blow him up. Roger that. What is shooting me? Damn it. Damn everything. Need ammo. Need to not die. This room is annoying at times, and I'm gonna have to run in front of them in order to grab that ammo too. This room is annoying because you think you're behind cover, but you're not. There's lots of openings in all of the high cover. It can be really problematic at times. You can also use this low ground though to just kind of duck out of their line of sight, which can be helpful. Guy really wants to shoot me, but he's not gonna. <laughs> like a bunch of ducklings looking for their mama. Or evil monster babies. However you'd like to see it. I think they're cute little ducklings myself. Where is the other one? Yeah. Oh. I feel like this is a bad spot to be in. Should be safe for the moment. Wow, that does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Holy crap. If all the pellets hit on your claymore and you're that close and everything, yeah. If I'm cloak, that's gonna do a lot of damage. Should be one more that comes in after those two die, I think. Which is why you want to take out the barrier engines first, because when this guy comes in, he won't get buried. Though he still got barriers. That leads me to believe there's one with that I don't... He must be back there in the other room. Notice how when I destroyed those sacks, it sent out a bunch of swarmers. You actually do not want to destroy the sacks. It just makes more swarmers come. The only advantage is if you do somehow manage to kill all the sacks before they want me to. Before... Um... He dies, he won't be able to send out swarmers anymore. So if you destroy all the sacks before he dies, no more swarmers. But every time you destroy a sack, it sends out a bunch of swarmers. So it seems like it's just not a good idea in general. Plus, the only way you're going to kill all the sacks before you just kill them anyway is with really well-aimed shots with scopes and everything. So why bother? Why bother? Look how cute they are. Look at that face. Oh, that was a nice... Oh, I did not realize there was somebody left. Hey there! Leveled up, but I'm not gonna bother. Moving right along. Hey, there's ammo. There's a grenade box, even. Nope, wasn't a grenade box. No grenades! No grenades on this mission. And I have clicked on that before, this med station. And 
it crashed my game. And I actually did it twice, and it crashed my game. So I'm not going to click on that. Not safe. Dangerous. Too dangerous. This is our way out. So this is about done. All that's left is our brutes and a couple of banshees. But I have the claymore, so I have a feeling the brutes are going to die really, really, really quick. Not too concerned. Next mission, I'm going to use Chrono Station. I'll be honest, the main reason I want to... Wait, did I just say I'm going to use Chrono Station? Next mission, I'm going to go to Chrono Station. I'm going to use the Widow. And the main reason is just because at the end, you face Kai Lang again, and I want to see if I can reproduce my three-shot Kai Lang thing that I did on Thessia, because that would just be funny. I would find it amusing. It would amuse me, so I'm going to do it. So to start... Yeah, he's already almost dead. There's one. There's one more. I haven't even bothered with decoys, but I will now, because he's going to go after Edie. Keep in mind, when you have a decoy, if you walk in front of it, when you're cloaked or, or near it or whatever, if enemies are shooting at the decoy, they will just hit you. <laughs> Don't do that. Stay away from your decoy. Try to position it. Can I quickly res Edie? So there's going to be one more brute. Oops. He will be dead pretty quick, though. This party loadout is incredibly... This setup is incredibly good for dealing with armor. I don't even need the cloak. He's gone. All that's left now is the Banshee. Not so great at dealing with armored targets, though. Or rather, derp. Shielded targets, barrier targets. But barriers generally go down a lot quicker than armor because of the fact that they will regenerate anyway, so they couldn't make them take an ungodly amount of time to take down. And they don't have the damage reduction thing that armor has. Whenever you attack armor, you do reduce damage by a percentage. That's why harder-hitting weapons are better against armor than weapons like, say, SMGs or assault rifles. Or what have you. Different things to keep in mind. As soon as the, her shields go down, I'm going to open up with grenades. Just a second. Okay. Grenades. Stop teleporting, it's distracting. And now it's just a matter of... Finishing her off, really. Wow, those, those stickies were not well aimed. I apologize. She teleported right as I was throwing them and kind of ruined that. So she is already about dead. This mission is already about done. No, you are going to die. There we go. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please sub if you'd like to see more Mass Effect 3. And leave comments and feedback and I will get back to you if you don't know. You do pick up the saber right here. Click on that console. Opens up this tube. Click on the tube. And there you have your saber. Alright guys, have a good one.